what's going on youtube family and friends welcome back to the channel and what we came to discuss here in today's video is q u b t alongside q b t s we're going to talk about these two quantum computing stocks as a whole and if you're holding either of the two can you do me a huge favor and comment the ticker symbol in the comment section below let's see if we can outpace the previous video comments also ladies and gentlemen we're going to take a brief look and check out in the ni if you were a part of the live stream then you are well aware when we got into this thing and as you guys can see here that nice bollinger bounce here on the 15 minute chart and just to give you guys a spoiler alert this thing is headed towards yet another high here on the day stick around we're going to give you my end of the day also tomorrow's price prediction for n v n i so with that being said let's dive right in and don't forget to consider joining our discord server ladies and gentlemen the sign up link is in the description below where you will receive all of my alerts in real time now in vni as you guys can see here nice momentum here on the day backed by huge bid orders and they're not looking to slow down at all in fact if we take a brief look at just check out the capital trend here so far massive outflow in favorment on a astronomical scale for in vni just at a outflow of 2.39 million guys you got to take in consideration that the stock was recently seeing volume levels of only 3 million and 3 million here on Thursday, previously 95,000. That is a huge, huge uptick here for NVNI, especially in the category of the outflow numbers, which points to heavy short activity here thanks to today's astronomical pop in price. Of course, shorts are going to feel as though that this thing is headed back towards the downside, but I'm going to fill you guys in. If we take a brief look and just check out that intraday chart, as you guys can see, we did see that net inflow come in. That is a sign of covering. And this is where the outflow starts to pick up here on the extra large as well as the large scale at 955. Um, so if we try to get that here, get to that five minute chart at 955, ladies and gentlemen, this is where the huge short acti activity starts to take in effect as you guys can see here on the extra large scale and then we start to see massive outflow back and forth which points to cycles of covering and shorting going on here currently in nvni and if you ask me ladies and gentlemen i am pretty confident to say that we're going to see a short sale ratio beyond 10 percent here on today's trading in fact here back on the 20th of december was a major breakout day here for the stock gaining 22 222 percent at the close but that trading volume came in at 78 million. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to take into consideration. We're currently here at 330 million here in total trading volume. And we got about an hour and 30 minutes left of trading throughout the trading day. The momentum is picking up. Not only that, if we take a brief look and just check out our current active buy and active sale throughout the trading day, we are seeing the active buy outpace the active sale here about 70, about 700,000 in favoring that active buy. That's a very great sign for the continuation to the upside. If we Take a brief look and check out the 15 minute chart as you guys can see here we have haven't quite challenged the upper but it's currently sitting here at that 591 which will be the indication that we will be breaking that high of that five dollars and 87 cent here on the day with that being said ladies and gentlemen is this thing safe to hold overnight we may see a massive short cover take place depending on today's aftermarket and or tomorrow's pre-market price action with that being said ladies and gentlemen if you are up over 40%, I do consider partial profits here at an 80% of my total position here in NVNI and carrying over the rest of that position here for tomorrow. Um, I do feel though that tomorrow, if the likelihood of a short cover take place, we haven't gotten that short sale data just yet, so I can't give you guys a highly accurate insight on that, which I will be doing a update video later on here today once the short sale analysis comes in here on NVNI. And if you do plan on checking out that video, can you please comment in the comment section below NVNI. If we can get 25 of those comments, I will drop that update video due to I see the demand for it. And guys, I will be dropping um, the short sale analysis here, um, giving you guys a better insight on whether that short 
cover wave will take place but if it does take place guys this stock can actually see levels as high as seven dollars here tomorrow and i'm just going off of the high total trading volume and that net outflow and favorment in fact we do see a huge outflow and favorment here on the small scale as well with that being said ladies and gentlemen the short positions are there we just need the adequate buying pressure here throughout the pre and aftermarket hours which will put major pressure on those short positions taken throughout the trading day here to day now with that being said if you're currently holding this stock like i said before consider partial profits last but not least we're going to talk about qbts as well as qubt both stocks have basically failed to break that mid bollinger band here on qbts and far as qubt failed to actually hold above um that high that we actually hit here yesterday of that 11.94 dropping lower than yesterday's high but the only thing that we did actually hit here today is set a higher high and a higher low that is a great sign for the breakout of an out break that is a very great sign for a break of this bear trend also we're still trading in that same trading range here um, between the low of 10.91 and upwards of 12 dollars and 47 cents so we haven't broken that bottom consolidation here in qubt just yet and far as qbts ladies and gentlemen as you guys can see here setting a higher low and a higher high but we haven't broken out of that consolidation state yet and also failing to break that mid bollinger band but we have taken considerations of the total market as a whole we're performing pretty well here early off in today's trading but as you guys can see here dumping here pretty harshly after lunch in fact the semiconductor sector as a whole is doing terrible but like i told you guys before look out for the robotics stocks as a symphony play if we take a brief look and just check out rr here really quickly as you guys can see here ultimately breaking out of its range of trade but retracing with the total market as a whole but if we take a brief look and check out the related stocks here R R S E R V is also on the robotic sector, which is ultimately doing pretty well here, staying above that mid Bollinger Band, like I told you guys before. As we're undergoing this quantum computing correction, you may want to consider a few robotic stocks. I will be doing a robotic stocks update over on my second YouTube channel later here today on the Grandmaster Obi channel, so make sure you guys check that one out as well. But back to these two Q U B T. If market conditions actually calls for a turnaround here monday ladies and gentlemen we may actually get our chance at this mid bollinger band it should be much lower around those 13 dollar and 10 cent levels here on monday's trading but i do foresee okay at least a 30 percent turnaround here for qubt during next week's trading and far as qbts i do feel as though that this one is going to see a much wider range of trade ultimately seeing between 40 and 55 percent in turnaround here if market conditions calls for it and i'm talking about not how semiconductors are currently looking ladies and gentlemen if we do see a turnaround expect for qubt and qbts to benefit pretty darn well so with that being said if you haven't already don't forget to smash that like button it has been doing tremendously um with supporting the channel it has been forcing youtube into recommending the videos ladies and gentlemen so please each and every time that you check in please don't forget to leave a like and if you're new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button and may the gains be with you